Hello and welcome to this video on how to add annotations to your drawing. So in this case I want to add a leader that describes the curve zone. So I will go to the annotative menu and next to leaders I will click on the arrow. And in this case I want to create a custom leader so I will click on new and just give it a name. So I will call it Via Romance and then it's very important that we mark that we want to make this leader annotative and just click on continue and if we go to the leader format in here we can make some changes to the leader for example the type at the moment it's set to a straight line but we can also get a curved leader or we can select, select none And we can make some changes to the color of the leader, the line type, and also the thickness. And in the bottom of the leader, we have an arrow, but we can also change the symbol by choosing one of the symbols from the list. And we can change the size of the leader. In this case, it is set to 4, and this is OK. And to make some changes to the text, we'll go to the consent. And in here we can select the text style. And I will select the via romance. And the angle of the text is set to horizontal, and this is OK. And again we can change uh, or make some changes to the color. And if we look in the bottom, we have something called landing gap, meaning that the distance from the end of the leader till the starting point of the text, this is set to 2, so this is 2 millimeters and it is OK. So I'll just say OK to this. And now we'll just select the new leader and then click on set current. And now close this window. And just to add the leader, I will click on multi-leader and then click on the starting point and this is the point where, where I will have the arrow and just draw a line and just type in the description and in this case we can see that the text is actually too big but this is because the annotative scale in the bottom is set to one to one and if I just delete the text and if I go to the layout in this case I have set up my layout so I have um, the cross section above is set to the scale of 1 to 50 and the cross section in the bottom is set to the scale of 1 to 100 so the most critical when we have to add the annotation, annotation with all the text is the cross section of 1 to 100. So if I go back to the model world and then set the annotative scale, scale to 1 to 100. And if I add the leader again. Then we can see that the text height is much better and if I go to the layout we can now see that the text height fits with the cross section of 1 to 100 and we can also see that the height of the text if I type in di for distance let me just find somewhere to measure And we can see this is about two and a half millimeters, so this fits with the scale. But also we want to add the text in the cross section of 1 to 50. So if I go back to the model world, click on the text and then right click and select annotated object scale. And in this case I want to add a scale and I want to add the scale of 1 to 50, click OK. 
and okay to this. And if I go back to the model world, we can now see that we have the text in both of the cross section and the text or the text height is the same in uh, both of the drawings.